Hey guys, it's your girl Tiff from Tiff's Planet and welcome back to my YouTube channel and another plan with me in my Print Impressions B6. So I am super, super excited for this plan with me for this week for two reasons. Because one being the fact that I am doing a Disney tag collab with the wonderful and amazing Viv from Viv Loves to Plan. And I'm super, super excited about it. We both absolutely love Disney. Like, who doesn't love Disney? Like, something's wrong. Like, who doesn't love Disney? <laughs> um, but we're going to be doing a Disney tag. So we would love for you guys to uh, join in and do the Disney tag uh, with us as well. We would love to hear you guys' answers to some of the questions that we've came up with for this Disney tag. Um, but we are both will be using a Disney themed kit. I will be using this kit from Chic Blossom Prints called Magic. So I will be planning the week of June the 29th through July 5th. And I believe Viv is going to be memory planning um, last week, which is the 22nd through the 28th. So uh, let's get into this kit. So this is again the Chic Blossom Prince Magic Kit. You have two, you have a double full box here. You have this beautiful quote that says, believe in magic. And you know, Disney is the most magic place in the world. <laughs> and then you have this quote here that just says, love which I think is super cute. You have this little jacket that says Disneyland Resort. Cute little uh, bas Mickey basket, or mini basket, little Minnie Mouse ears, your little soft serve ice cream, and then the, um, the Mickey Mouse balloons uh I, I asked fallon to always whenever i get a kit from fallon that i plan on using in my b6 i asked fallon to make them the horizontal size full box so that i'm able to fit them a little bit better and have a little bit more space in my b6 uh, because i have fallon do the horizontal full boxes i uh, also get a little bit more of half boxes and quarter boxes because because of that so the very bottom of this page you have these scalloped half boxes and then these three quarter boxes here next you have this functional page here you have a monday through sunday tracker you have the banner style checklist with the little uh, uh, mickey uh, emblem here you have your laptop a movie marquee and you have so a lot of functionals and some scripts here next you have your bill dues your happy trackers some appointment labels quarter boxes and then a bunch of half boxes here and then next, you have this gorgeous bottom washi. So you have your cut strips of washi here, a couple of more quarter boxes, your date covers, a this week header. And then you have this absolutely gorgeous bottom washi. And hopefully you guys are able to see the foil in that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's foiled in holographic foil, which you guys know is one of my favorite foils. You have the, the bowls here, which is very simple. And then you have the like um, gradient of different colors with the... Um, make with the Mickey Mouse um, head, which I think is super, super cute. So I am super excited about this particular um, week in doing this Disney tag, as well as doing this collab with Viv. Make sure that you guys go over to Viv's page if you guys are not already following her. And uh, so tell her that I sent you. And um, I will make sure that I also put Viv's a link to her video in the description box below but if you guys care to see how i plan this week this week being the disney tag then please keep on watching so before i begin answering all of these wonderful tag questions all about disney um if you guys have any questions about any of the stickers that i am using just make sure you guys leave me a comment down below or you guys can shoot me a dm on instagram if you guys are following me on instagram and i will do my best to answer your questions for you guys if you guys have questions about any of the stickers that i am using but i will put the shops to all of the stickers that i'm using in the description box below as always so let's get into this tag so the first question is, what Disney character is your favorite? This one is hard <laughs> because, oh my God, I absolutely love Disney. Like, absolutely. Love. I'm trying to think. <sighs> if I had to pick a one favorite, absolutely just one favorite Disney character, it would probably have to be Olaf. I absolutely love Olaf. <laughs> oh my God. Olaf is like the best ever. Um, I, like I, I, I literally start grinning from ear to ear and thinking about all of his, uh, 
Uh, I like warm hugs and some, uh, some people worth worth melting for. And I just, I just, I absolutely love Olaf. So if I had to pick a favorite Disney character, um, like any Disney character, it would be Olaf. If I had to pick a favorite Disney character that was like an, an original Disney, Disney character like Mickey Minnie, uh, it would probably be Daisy, uh, um, Daisy because I absolutely love purple and Daisy Duck always had on purple with her little heels and her bow so those are my favorites if I have to pick a classic favorite it's Daisy Duck if I have to pick if I can pick any any Disney character at like as at, at, at all it's any Disney character it would be Olaf so the next question is one Disney movie that you have watched at least 10 times okay so <laughs> I have two answers for this if you're pick if, if you're talking about that I actually wanted to watch more than more than once it was I would say it was Moana um if it's a, a Disney a movie that I have to watch because I have two girls who are absolutely obsessed with Anna and Elsa it would be Frozen 1 and Frozen 2 because I I literally watched Frozen 1 and 2 I would say a good four or five times a week and 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 Bambi because my baby is obsessed with Bambi. Like that was the first Disney movie she ever saw. And so she is obsessed with Bambi. So <laughs> those are my answers. I'm trying to pick one. But I can't. I can't do it. So the next question is which Disney princess is your absolute favorite and why? So I would have to say Princess Jasmine. Princess Jasmine because I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big old sap. I'm lo 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 lovey dovey. I have to do. I have to do, I, I can't, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but because she didn't allow the rules and, you know, what she had, to, what she what she was supposed to do or who she was supposed to fall in love with dictate, you know, who she fell in love with. And, you know, it didn't matter to her that Aladdin, who was trying to be our fake to be this, you know, prince so that he can end up being with her and he could she could fall in love with him and all that stuff she didn't care when she found out who he really who he really was she didn't care that he was a, considered a street rat um because she she loved him and she um knew his heart and she saw his heart and so uh i i would probably, i would say that it would be uh princess jasmine because, because she followed her heart regardless of what the rules were um, so the next question is, uh, have you ever worn a um, dress just like your favorite Disney character? No, I have not. <laughs> I have not worn a dress like my favorite Disney uh, character. Um, although uh, that's not that that's not that that's not uh, something that could not happen because I definitely could see myself just dressing up as a princess or something like that from with, with my girls. So. Something that I definitely would do, but I have not um, dressed up or worn a dress like any of my uh, favorite Disney characters. So number five, number five is who is your favorite Disney villain? This one is easy. My favorite Disney villain is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I absolutely love Ursula. I don't know why. First of all, she's purple, so that just that probably makes it reason, another reason as to why I like her because she's purple. Uh, but I like I like I like the songs <laughs> that Ursula um, sang, um, and she was just the the sneakiest like uh, villain in my opinion. And I just I don't know. I just love her. I, I love Ursula. So I would it would it would definitely be Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Um, and then number six is one Disney character that often appears in your dreams. Um, I don't really, I don't think I can say that there's been a Disney character other than Mickey or Minnie that have a pet that has appeared in a dream. And I don't even know. Yeah, I would probably say Mickey, it, it, it would have to be Mickey or Mickey or Minnie. Um, and I wouldn't, I would probably say that it, I haven't had any recent dreams of Mickey and Minnie. Um, and so it probably would have been if I was as, as a child uh, that I had a dream, but I don't remember having any dreams where like a Disney character appeared in a dream for me. Um, but I'm pretty sure they did when I was, if I, if when I was a kid and I was dreaming about going to Disneyland. Um, so number seven is which Disney prince 
would you like to meet in real life? Um, let's see. <laughs> What's Disney Prince would I like to meet in real life? I'll say Prince Prince Naveen um, from uh, the, the Princess and the Frog. Um, I, because I, he, he's actually like, I think that he would actually be my type, like tall, you know, caramel kind of dark skin complexion, you know, like curly wavy hair. I think, you know, and try, try, you know, he's trying to, he's a, he's a, a smooner. Like he tries to, you know, when you're over with, you know, his charisma. And I, I, I think that it would be Prince Naveen for sure. Um, <laughs> number eight is if Disneyland came to your doorstep or at your doorstep, what would you do? I would probably act like a big kid and drip up and down and hug Mickey and Minnie and dack on almost pass out because I am a total and complete diehard Disney fan, a diehard Mickey and Mickey fan. And um, so, so, so bad. So I have a Mickey and Minnie tattoo <laughs> on my foot. Fun fact about me. I have a Mickey and Minnie uh, tattoo on my foot. So I would probably flip, flip my lid would be the, probably the best description of how I would act if uh, Disneyland or Disney appeared on my doorstep. I would flip my lid and go crazy. Yes, you would see this 38 year old girl go crazy. Yep, I would turn into a big, big, huge kid. <laughs> most definitely um that's a funny question okay so number nine is what um uh, what is a favorite disney um what is your favorite disney movie as an adult okay so i think i answered that earlier i'm not trying to try but I answered it earlier my favorite disney movie as an adult is definitely uh moana and moana because is like she again I'm you know I'm getting real deep because you know although you know she didn't really understand why the water chose her she knew that she was chosen she knew that she had to fulfill a purpose for some reason and even though she didn't wasn't quite sure as to what it was at the moment she had to keep on working keep on pushing and keep on doing what she needed to do until she realized herself what that was and why the water chose her so i think it has very deep <laughs> meaning to me and, and and the movie just it like i said it's a really good movie um i've always been um very into polynesian culture and the drums and the dancing and the just everything about it i've always been really really into it um and then it doesn't help that we have you know the wonderful and handsome Dwayne the rock johnson i mean come on how could you not like moana when you know that maui is the rock like who does not like Moana after they find that out? Like, oh my God. Anywho, okay, that was just like totally random. Like, totally, total side note, totally random. Anywho, I'm going to actually finish answering the questions, you guys. How about that? Let me do that and stop, you know, talking about my my fantasies and um, for The Rock, <laughs> who, I like, who I've liked since, like, WWE. Okay, anywho. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, it says. <laughs> the next question is. During your childhood. Which Disney movie. Did you watch. For the first time. I would probably say it was. The Lady and the Tramp. That's the one that's most vivid in my mind. Um, and I absolutely. I still absolutely love. Um, Lady and the Tramp. It's it's still one of my absolute favorite movies and um it was lady in the tramp or cinderella but i'm i'm gonna go with lady and I'm, I'm almost i'm almost 100 percent positive it was um or 99.9 percent .9 positive that it was lady lady in the tramp and not cinderella so i'm gonna go with that that was the first movie that i um saw as as a as a kid um and then the last question which is like a a double question because it's asking, uh, what was uh, which, uh, what was your favorite Disney 
memory as a kid or as an adult. So I'm going to give you both. How about that? So my favorite Disney uh, memory as a kid was I remember <laughs> I remember going to Disneyland and it's like it's it's vague but I remember going to Disneyland and thinking this is the best thing ever and then walking in and seeing like the like the life-size Disney characters and being terrified like utterly and completely terrified like I didn't want to take no pictures with them like I remember I remember hiding behind my dad's leg because they were trying to get me to take a picture with Mickey Mouse and I was like yeah no that's mm -mm. I don't give I don't care if it's Mickey and Minnie I don't care if I see Daisy Duck over there who's my favorite I don't mm -mm. I don't I don't really care that's all I don't mm -mm. I'm not leaving from behind my daddy's leg nope sorry <laughs> that was the memory that is vivid in my head from a child and then the next one would be as a child riding the riding the ride it's a small world i absolutely love that ride still to this day i love it's a small world but that was the most amazing thing to see as a kid, I was just like, wow, like, I've, you know, you, you don't, you, that, that's not a normal type of a ride that you, you you get to experience in your lifetime. And so to see that, to see all that, it was just like so freaking amazing to me as a kid. And so it was one, being scared of the characters, but then two, um, getting on It's a Small World. Uh, that was like my favorite, uh, the, 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 the memories that are vivid in my head as a, as a kid. I would probably say my favorite memory as an adult has to do with my um, my oldest, my oldest daughter. Uh, hopefully, I'm oh, sorry if you guys hear fireworks there. Popping fireworks even though it's not the 4th of July as of yet. Um, but uh, the, my favorite memory as an adult has to do with my oldest. My, my oldest absolutely loves Disney. Like I said, we all love Disney. But we took my oldest daughter to Disneyland for the first time when she was two and the memory that's vivid in my head is when you know how they do like the little uh, center or that you know they have like the little random show that they do like in like the um, city city hall or whatever it's called town hall area and um, I remember being in the California Adventure side like I remember exactly where we were at the California Adventure side Adventure side right in the middle of like the little town hall area right next to Starbucks okay and they were doing their little um uh show and out jumps Mickey and my daughter just darts and runs to Mickey and <laughs> I thought it was absolutely adorable because Mickey didn't like he did it wasn't like uh he was like okay who's this kid running to me he just picked her up finished his whole entire routine with her in his arms and gave her a big old hug so we got a picture of her hugging um uh, Mickey got a big old hug a pair big, uh, got a picture of her hugging Mickey she got a big old hug from him and then she uh he, he brought her back <laughs> to us and that is my actual memory as an adult it has to do with my baby um but I I I tell everybody about that like it's it's the most memorable thing for me I took my oldest to Disneyland and she ran up to Mickey and he just danced and did his whole routine with her that was the highlight uh, as an adult for <laughs> for me um at Disneyland and then I would probably also say uh, me and my uh, going to Dapper Day Dapper Day at Disneyland for the very first time um was my was another memory that I enjoyed as an adult um, but those are all of the questions, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the questions, enjoyed my rambling and goofiness in answering um, the questions. Um, guys, please make sure you guys go over to uh, Viv's page. Show her some love. Let her know that I sent you. I would still, like I said, I would love to hear you guys' answers to 
um, these questions. They were so much fun. Some of them were hard <laughs> because it's like, wait, okay, I have to just pick one. It's so it's so hard to just pick one, you guys. It is. Um, but I had so much fun doing this tag, coming up with this tag with Viv. It was just so much fun to even just create this for you guys. So I hope that you guys are really enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. I love that this is the 4th of July weekend. So you guys be safe out there. Have a great time with your family members. And until next time, guys, enjoy yourself and happy planning.